Namaskar. Hello and welcome to P Guru's channel. I'm your host Sri Ayer. I have with me writer Shantanu Gupta. He has written two bestsellers, The Monk Who Became Chief Minister of UP and The Monk Who Transformed UP. And let's welcome Sri Shantanu Gupta ji. Shantanu ji, Namaskar and welcome to P Guru's channel. How are you, sir? Uh, namaste, Sri ji. I'm good. I'm doing good. So uh, our good days back in the you uh, know in Uttar Pradesh. I'm still in United States mode. So sorry about that. Are uh, the mafia dam days over in Uttar Pradesh now that Atik Ahmed and his brother have been taken care of? Whichever way it is, but that's that's besides the point. But uh, how do you feel things are now? Um, is is the the are the people freed from mafia dam now? See, if you say mafia dam is over in UP, I uh, I may not say with absolute surety it's over, but surely it's taking its last last breath, right? Why I'm saying so. See, in 2017, when Yogi Atanath inherited Uttar Pradesh, he inherited Uttar Pradesh where mafia dumb was institutionalized in society, in business, as in politics by Samajwadi Party and BSP. And give you very detailed examples. The people who should have been in jail, the people who should have been sentenced, were 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 in assembly, were in parliament. They were like so-called lawmakers, which all of, all of a sudden people are finding lawmakers in them, right? And now there is a 180 degree shift in the culture. From if you remember, ladki hai, galti ho jati hai, to right. mafia ko mitti mein mila dunga. So that's a tectonic shift in the culture of uh, Uttar Pradesh, right? There is no politi- political patronage. Yeah, some might be hiding if there are ten thousand of them and nine thousand are neutralized and some more are remaining. That statistics we can discuss, right? And I'll give you one very interesting, maybe on a, on a, on a lighter vein. If you remember all the Asaduddin Owaisis and Varis Pathan, you keep hearing, "15 minutes ke liye police hata do, fir hamari community dekh legi," right? And now they are saying police kyun hata di, police kyun kam kar di, right? So these are the tectonic shifts that are happening in UP's uh, culture. And there is a massive drive to nab and neutralize them very methodically from 2017 onwards. And just give you the data around that, right? So as soon as uh, Yogi became the chief minister, his first task was law and order, to maintain law and order. Because he, I think his idea is, until unless you don't maintain law and order, prosperity will not come in various ways. Because nobody in right mind will invest in place which is ruled by... Mafias like Muktar and Sari Ati Kebab and many more, right? So what they did, they find which are the organized mafias in a particular district. And when I say organized mafia, which are sand mafia, land mafia, kidnapping mafia, car stealing mafia, uh, multiple kind of institutional people who have like teams, 150, 200, 250 people on their uh, kind of payrolls. So 11,000 such operations were done in last uh, almost five and a half, six years from 2017 to 2023. And almost 23,000 criminals are, are arrested. And while arresting them, while arresting them, if there is a counterfire and self-defense police attack, and 183 got neutralized. There's no, no term called encounter in IPC in India. The term is you, you, you go and arrest them. And these are all FIR people who, 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 with court order. You go them and arrest them, and some of them counterfire. And if you're if you're if you're not able to nab them uh, during the firing. You have to, in self-defense, police fired. And in 183, uh, people uh, went to Ishwardev, right? Out of this 183, a lot of people say, oh, the Muslims are killed. Only 32% uh, percent people are uh, from Muslim origin. Rest all are non muslims So this is on, on record. Out of the 183, they're dead. Only 32%. Yeah, that's a disproportionate number for the, based on their population. But that's the that's the problem that the Muslim community leaders has to, has to answer. That why they're... Uh, ratio in crime is disproportionate than the ratio in the population. And that's word over. You can find New York data, American data, the people in, uh, from Muslim community in a particular city and people are in jail, right? Even, even in a democratic government are far more, right? But again, so uh, let's say I'll give you an example. Aditya Rana. Aditya Rana, a dreaded criminal. Aditya Rana is a very Hindu name. He's from Kamgum Thakur community, so-called, right? Akhilesh Yadav ji kehte hai, Sahaj Jati hai. Pardon, Mukhya Mantri ke Sahaj Jati hai. Same cast as, as, as Chief Minister, because that's a blame on Chief Minister that he doesn't arrest Thakur people, right? Aditya Rana shot dead in Bijnor. He was a prized criminal just a day before Asad's uh, encounter, right? And there was no talk. There was no talk. So because Aditya Rana is a Hindu and th- that's why there's no talk. So so now, as you, uh, I'm just coming over to the initial question, is mafia dumb over? The political patronage is over from them, right? Their business links are cut, their economic links are cut, and their massive drive to hunt them out, right? The list after that every month are given to district police or to the main police that you have to neutralize them, arrest them, take them to court, uh, or do and cut their economic sources because they're all economic sources also illegal. So there's a massive drive. A uh, lot of things already over, and the remaining will be over soon. 
and <clears throat> we have the other infamous uh, gangster turned politician uh, ansari yeah. uh, i think his court case is also coming up shortly isn't it yeah exactly so muktar ansari uh, who is in banda jail currently banda is a district in the bundelkhand region of uttar pradesh and if you all remember he was brought from punjab in a some frivolous case uh, punjab police which is then then run by the congress government took him from the up jail and arrested in banda so that uh, in in punjab so that he can have a good life there uh, right so his uh, yogi's uh, yogi ji has brought uh, brought him back to up in banda jail and his sentence uh, the one of the so they have multiple cases right so sentence is one of those cases one of the prominent cases is on 29th april the so today is 19th in 10 days so you will he- hear a lot of hue and cry again in 10 days oh my, my god one more law law maker arrested right and just about a little history of these right how they are institutionalized so atik ahmed in 1996 becomes a mla he was a independent mla before and bsp co-opted him and made him a mla from alabad west seat right uh, now now, now prayagraj oh, they thought one, one second um shantanu yeah. ji you are saying bsp bahujan samaj party co-opted him no no first sp i'll, I'll tell you about Mukta. i'm SP. telling you about okay, ahmed okay. i'm um, telling you about atik ahmed atik ahmed yeah. first then i'll come to muktar ansari right, so right, atik right. ahmed atik ahmed uh, first was a independent mla from couple of uh, months a couple of terms and then sp samajwadi party co-opted him and in 1996 from alabad west seat they made him mla they thought no no mla is too small for such a big mafia he should be sent to parliament and 2004 he was sent to parliament from fulpur seat you know what is the fulpur hmm. seat it's the chacha no. nehru seat no jawala oh. nehru jawala nehru used to contest from that seat right so it's a quite a prestigious seat right so from that seat the only worthy candidate that samajwadi party found was atik ahmed right and in, 19, uh, and in 1996, why this award was given to him, do you know? Because in 1995 only, he executed the guest house uh, murder case of Mayavati, the infamous one, right? Mm, uh, mm. Where the Samajwadi party... So, uh, BSP was about to cut ties from SP the next day. And the Samajwadi party, Mulayam Singh Wadav got to know about it. And he sent Mukhtar, uh, not Mukhtar Ansari himself, but he asked Mukhtar Ansari to plot, 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 plot uh, uh, attack against Mayavati. And the reward was an MLA seat to him. 1996 and a lot of people said no 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 akhilesh yadav doesn't like in uh, between mafia dump 2012 akhilesh yadav took the reins of samajwadi party as latest as 2014 he was offered a ticket from shavasti seat in lok sabha thanks to modi wave thanks to the people of uttar pradesh that he lost election and that's why he became little politically irrelevant uh, for samajwadi party right they say humne to nikal diya tha. Aapne nikala nahi tha. people of up through through a lot of politics now well, one, coming, question, one question one yeah. question uh, santanuji sorry Atik Ahmed never joined Bahujan Samaj Party, right? No, so Atik Ahmed never joined uh, 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 Bahujan Samaj Party. Why he could not have? Because he was the main one in the attack uh, against the attack to Mayavati, right? But yeah. Mayavati co-opted a lot of his people. After some time, <laughs> for some reason, Mayavati, so his, his wife, his, his one of his son, uh, also one of his relatives, so BSP co-opted them, right? So Atik Ahmed, him per se, never joined uh, BSP. A lot of his people uh, became uh, public representative from BSP, right? Now coming to Mukhtar Ansari. Mukhtar yeah. Ansari was largely nurtured by BSP. In the same year when Atik Ahmed went to parliament, the Samajwadi party ticket, uh, Mukhtar Ansari went to parliament for mouse seat from BSP ticket. So that, that's the... And now the people of Mukhtar Ansari are in Samajwadi party and BSP both. So the brother of Mukhtar Ansari, uh, right? He's a current sitting member of parliament from Ghazipur. Member of Parliament from Ghazipur, uh, the brother of Mukhtar Ansari, right? And his son, his son Abbas Ansari, fought 2022 election from the sub, uh, SP coalition, from one of the other parties, the SP coalition, though he lost the election. And his speech became very, uh, very, very viral during the elections, right? He said to me, I said to him, I said to him, I said to him, when our government comes, we will not give the DMSP for 6 months. We will take revenge and then let them go, right? That the speech got viral, right? So it's still, it's not, they have not still stopped their patronage, right? And that was their politics. Uh, similarly, Lalu Prasad Yadav in Bihar and Mulayam Singh Yadav in Uttar Pradesh, they have institutionalized. And they use these people for booth capturing in the pre-EVM days. That's why they don't like EVMs, right? Because now they can't capture them, right? Pre-EVM days, they used to capture them to kill their uh, political rivals. So all of these major murders, right, which you keep hearing, Raju Pal, Krishnanand Rai, you know, they were elected representatives. Why Raju Pal was murdered? Because he won against Ashraf, the same Ashraf who, 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 who shot right. dead, right? He once again Ashraf shot dead. That's the only thing. I can't beat you electorally, I'll kill you. Right? That was their principle. So that got neutralized. That's why people can, you can breathe now uh, uh, in, in peace. 
Well, uh, see, I, I had a, when I used to work, uh, now of course I'm independent. When I used to work, I had a good friend from Bihar. And he used to tell me that in Bihar, uh, if a doctor opens a dispensary, uh, within a few days, you'll hear from the local don. They want protection money. And if you if you ignore them or if you don't do it, then pretty soon members of your family go missing. This kind of stuff used to happen in Bihar. How is it still true? Is there, something like that is it happening still in Bihar, Shantanuji? Does, does it need a full-fledged Bihar, uh, a BJP government in Bihar also, not a coalition? So in BJP and Uttar Pradesh both, this was like an organized, organized uh, machinery, right? That was the only udyog or only enterprise there, right? See, right. In, a, in a smaller district, there are only two or three kind of development that's happening. There is no factory in such a smaller district. Many of these districts, if fortunately they have a Hindu temple, then they have some religious tourism. Otherwise, that, that's also not there, right? The only money that comes from there is a government money which is coming from making roads, making small school right, building. Right, right, so that's the only construction money, right? And that's why these many of these people, you'll find them in real estate, some construction, no. there are some contractors, right? And the other thing is doctors and lawyers, right? They get flourish. But these these mafias and these people are not even educated enough to become doctors and lawyers, right? So the only thing, any anywhere they see wealth, right? So display of wealth was very tricky and dangerous. So if, even if you can own a nice car, you will not own a car. Otherwise, someone will get to know that you have a wealth and you can own a car. So even if you are a very good doctor, right, you're earning lot, quite a crowd of patients, right, you will open a ranchackle, chota as a clinic, right, so that you will not look prosperous. So that was exactly right. So even if you're looking prosperous, like doctors, lawyers, because anyway, there was not no, no, no industries. And all the takedas and contractors are anyway hand in glove with the MLAs, right. So this was institutionalized in uh, UP and Bihar both. And some reminiscence of there is largely still there uh, in, in Bihar. So that's why we had a very strong uh, BJP sort of government, some yogi uh, kind of chief minister. In UP, last six years, it got neutralized to a, to a large extent, right? Their economic roots are cut. So when you hear this bulldozer politics, right? you know, what is that bulldozer politics exactly, right? Yogi Atanath is a very sharp legal brain, right? He's in parliament from last 19 years, right? Before becoming right. a chief minister. Right. So he's right. seen right. the law, law like, like from very close quarters. So as soon as any big criminal case comes to him, he say, why he's flourishing? What is economic roots? People say, no, no, he runs a hotel, he runs this and that. I'm saying, is it legal? The people, his officer said, no, it's illegal. Have we sent notices? Have we have multiple notices? Okay, then go and break it. Right? Because the notice already served in the last six years, last 10 years, like 15 years, right? Notice was served even in Akhlesh Yadav's time and BSP's time, right? But the notices were never executed. The notice was given so that I can show CCC, I have given notice, right? Just as a formality, right? So all the procedure was already done. Yogi said, okay, if the procedure is done, let's go and break it, right? That's why his 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 main, main one of his main tactics against these criminals are cut down their economic means, right? So that they can thrive. So that they can't have this 150, 200 people. They can't buy these expensive arms uh, from outside, wherever they are, right? So you're, you're right. Bihar, that was a trend. And they also need a very strong government. Thank you so much, Shantanuji. And I'm also, somebody jokingly told me that if you lose your car in Connaught Place, tomorrow, next day, you can go and pick it up in Meerut. I don't know if it's still true. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, let me tell you. So in Meerut, that market is called Sothi Ganj, right? Mm. And Sothi Ganj was so famous in 2019 election, Naren Modi mentioned the name of Sothi Ganj in, a, in, a, in, a, in an election rally. That <laughs> Sothi Ganj, which was not even Delhi. If you, if you got a stolen the south in Bangalore, it will drive to Sothi Ganj. Hindi mein kehte, car cut jati hai. Cut jata hmm. door will go to someone, engine will go to someone. Because you can't sell a car, right? Because chase's number can be tracked easily, right? Right, right. So right. you can't sell. So cut jati hai, it will go to the parts will go to various places. And that whole market is closed in the last three years. Yogi have hmm. utilized the whole market, right? Wow. So that's how these were industries in, in, in Toto, right? And that's why these people are so uncomfortable uh, with Atik Ji and Lawmaker. <laughs> They're finding those adjectives around them. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, thank you so much, Shantanuji. We have a couple of questions from our viewers. Let's have the questions, please. Uh, let me see. Just one second. Um, kudos to Yogi Ji, also known as the king of the north, to bring in peace in UP. He's a model. Why was Atik taken outside instead of in jail checkup? And how did the media get to know Atik's whereabouts? Uh, see, I think the, these and couple of questions about that shootout are happening. Uh, let me clarify this and couple of them. See, how does it go like, right? So you take a criminal, you arrest it, right? 
and then you charge sheet it and you inquire it. You inquire it and then you submit a charge sheet, right? Uh, he said, no, I don't feel safe in UP. I'll take me outside. So he was in Sabarmati. For now the case came. So finally he was brought from Sabarmati to uh, the uh, Priyagji, right? Now court will order what has to what has to happen. Police will not take him to hospital to wherever by his own will. So court have order that daily make sure because he's on high sugar it seems right. So make sure daily he goes to hospital and make sure during interrogation you are not hurting him right. So court has also allowed his 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 lawyer right, uh, some Mr. Tiwari to be him, uh, uh, allowed to accompany him right. And court has asked you have to take him to hospital. You can't decide that you you will bring a doctor to him right. Only in the case where the criminal is incapacitated, he can't move. Only in that case, court allows. Police can't decide who to take him. So police can write. It was a court order that you have to take him daily. Whatever is the however late night it is, right? You have to take him daily to the hospital. So police was doing that that uh, prescription that was given by the court, right? So police cannot decide what will happen. That's number one. Uh, number two, uh, what was it? Uh, how is media? So media gets an access. Media gets an access. The only problem was. They were not frizzed, so such things are not metal detector frames. So I think now uh, even Prime Minister has, has mentioned there will be a very soon a new guidelines around media accessing such criminals, right? So media gets access from like a 50 meter path from where uh, ambulances and vehicles can be parked in a hospital, right? And from the hospital door in that 50 meter media gets an access, uh, right? Uh, so this is a very new kind of user use case which has never happened in, in history of criminology in India. So I think a new protocol will get added. But one yeah. small detail, if you allow me to add, if one small no, detail. No, please, go ahead. please go ahead. Please go yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah. See, very interestingly, so you, you, you all hearing and you are getting uh, amazing people like Vikram Singh ji, that what is the huge criminal history of Atik, uh, Atik Ahmed, right? Do you know he was never sentenced as last forty years? Hmm. You know why? Because in one time when his bail application went to the court, ten judges, not one, two, ten judges recused. No, 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 no I, I can't judge. <laughs> And the 11th one and came the bail, <laughs> came the bail to Abhigya Madhra. Right? Every every witness turned hostile. This is a, and and uh, three weeks back he got a life imprisonment in one of those cases among the hundred cases he has. Right, that's kind of political impunity uh, these these people were enjoying. Similarly with Uttar Ansari. Right, so now somewhat got uncomfortable that Ati Kehmat, the Ati Kehmat, right, now is weak and can reveal a lot of secrets. He was daily taken to hideouts. You know, from last 10 days, he was daily taken to hideouts. He was telling, mere rakhe hote de, ye hai. So a lot of people were uncomfortable. Now the theories are coming, even his wife might be behind it. Even Guddu Muslim kind of behind it. The people who can be the now boss of the gang, right? They don't want the truths to be revealed. Or maybe the political patronage that he was getting, right? So that's why first time he was sentenced. I just want to offer this point that he was never <laughs> even sentenced in the last 40 years. Wow, wow. How time flew. Thank you so much, Chantanuji yeah. and viewers. Uh, I hope you had a you know ringside view of what really happened in you know uh, in uh, Uttar Pradesh and how Yogi is transforming the state. And thank you so much, Antonuji. At uh, very short notice, you agreed to come on our channel okay. and share your thoughts on how things are headed. I hope that we can come back and again maybe in four weeks' time or something. If there are developments, I'd like to bring yeah. you back on here and discuss thank them. Thank you so much once again. Thank Namaskar. You. Namaste.